The Bethesda fanboys are currently absolutely desperate to find any reason to call Starfield good. So desperate, in fact, that the subreddit literally just upvoted the most clearly bait post in the history of Reddit itself as their number one post. Let me preface this by saying I'm a 40-year-old gamer who's playing video games since the 80s, starting with the original Game Boy. I never touched a Bethesda game before. Uh, this one, as I'm a super space nerd, and uh, this game got me to purchase a Series X to play it. Boy, do I feel justified with my purchase. When I first saw this, I saw just the first part out, out, out without context on Twitter. And I, I, I thought that th at first, this is just a random guy who's defending his stupid purchase of a literal Xbox for 600 bucks probably, just so he can play one random game. But no, I did not know that there's more to this. Purchase. This game is freaking amazing. I'm still on Crete. Let me tell you guys, the whole time I'm just... Crete is literally like one of the very first planets you get to. Tampy, uh, little space cadet, hopping around in uh, what I was thought was a barren planet. Holy fuck, what is this dude? <laughs> what the fuck am I looking at? Oh. To be honest with you, imagine if you had never played a good game in your life, and then the context of the Starfield was the first game you ever played. Then maybe you could think it's awesome and be like, oh my god, I'm on space, I'm on a planet. But then I, then I think to myself, like, when I was playing Valheim and I first saw the sea serpent, dude, I, that was like one of my top 10 moments of gaming. Okay, and it's like I'm thinking. I'm thinking like, did I have an experience even anywhere, even, even, even a shred of anything I felt in Valheim in terms of exploration? No, it didn't. There was no. I didn't feel like I traveled anywhere. I didn't feel like I explored anything. It was bro. just like it was just instant TP, bro. It, I don't know. It's just like that. That feeling, that magic feeling, just non-existent. Man, the thing that guy killed that guy and immediately being lied to me. I had my back turned, and all of a sudden the whole screen goes red. I turn around and boom. This fucking thing is trying to eat me. What, uh, who is this? It's written like a five-year-old. Why are you trying to sell this? What, what is this like? What, is this like a creative writing story from high school or some shit? What, I don't understand. What's happening? I'm running around the whole site trying to get away from this thing while my robot tries to tell me because all I got is this fucking mining gun. So I'm running in a circle. Uh, getting little shots here and there because this thing's level 10. Yeah, okay, dude. It's a level 10, guys. Be level 1. <laughs> Encounter level 10. <laughs> it's a level 10. He's running around. So it's a, he's saying it's a bullet sponge, dude. Uh, I'm a level 1. 30 minutes go by. I'm sweating. My hands are slippery. Then the thing finally gets stuck under some stairs. <laughs> This, this is the most believable Starfield experience I have ever heard in my life. But bro, this is obviously as fake as it gets. So I'm now getting closer to the waypoint. I'm running, dude. And all of a sudden I start hearing faint sounds of that I feel uh, like little firecrackers in the distance. I'm wondering, what is this? Because... Uh, because as I get close, the sound gets louder. I come up uh, on the side and I can now clearly tell there are gunshots going off. So I climb the ridge to get into the area. And lo and behold, it's one of those pirate dudes fighting a huge spider creature by himself. Uh, with, uh, with, where did we go? Uh, with, uh, with his two t uh, teammates dead. Oh my god, I stood there and watched this guy fight for what? What? Uh, what? Little life he had, and it was amazing. <laughs> Bruh. Wait, he says, he it's a dog shit glitch fight, like, and then it fucking bugs out, and he's able to cheese it. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? I felt like- It's the classic start, uh, it's the classic Bethesda moment. If you can't, if you ever have problems dealing with anything that's melee, just jump on the rock, and the AI will not know what to do. Uh, rocks are the bane of any melee opponent in any Bethesda game for literally 30 years now. The, 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 the NPCs literally cannot jump. Well, they can technically jump, and they do, but they don't understand that they can jump on things so they can get to you. I could just beat an indie game. I was so relieved. Now that that's done, I was feeling free to explore the site. After this, I said to myself, what the fuck else is on this planet? 
So I set out again. It's time to make my other way around the little dots. Man, I spent two hours dying to 30 to 40 pirates and laser robots here. <laughs> Frustrating, yes, but so fun. Bro, really, dude? The same you, you enjoyed fun? Dude, it's such clear and obvious bait that all of this... Well, it's not fan fiction. It's someone who actually has at least seen the game. But it's so clear that this is, like, meant to be making fun of them. Because, you know, the, the game is literally... Yeah, you can be level 1 and you can encounter, like, 20 opponents that are all literally 20 levels above you. And there's no shot you ever win. <laughs> it's so great. Like I was bored. Do you know I was bored of the pirate after like the third planet. I was like, dude, this is taking the piss now. Where's, where's the more enemy variety? After that, I finally decided to start the main quest, so I headed into the blue dot. This game is amazing. I truly do not understand the negativity towards this game. It's like people who dislike it are the ones who expected to play this game like it was a job or real life. Wait, 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 wait. What? The point of the game is to feel like it's an immersive fucking rpg like slash i don't know what you want to call it like a yeah, like an, the way they have marketed it and the way it was advertised in my mind was endless possibilities you can go anywhere yeah. you could do anything they literally by the way said that well but obviously todd howard lies literally about everything he probably lies to his wife that he even has a wife. Kind of like real life, like some sort of like RPG simulation. I don't know what the fuck you want to call it, right? Which it doesn't hit that note whatsoever. And that's what my expectation was, right? I, yep. I was expecting like some shit like that, right? Even if you just forget, uh, like if you just, you, you know, you, you just drop all expectations and everything. You just look at it, you know, in a void. It's still just bad. The demands and expectations. I'm seeing this. Wait, no, he didn't read that. Uh, I truly do not understand the negati negativity towards this game. It's like the people who dislike it are the ones who expect to play this game like a job. I always said the hardest part of game developer's job is its own community and some of those players are either delusional or just entitled. Uh, this is from the Dia... The this is a snip, by the way, from Diablo 4 uh, developer talk where they said, Well, we failed to manage expectations that, well, we created this illusion that this is going to be a good game, but it's shit. Next time, we will manage expectations properly so you don't even think the game is good. This is literally a snippet out of that conversation. This is such a fucking troll post. And this has 9k upvotes because the Starfield, uh, the Starfield fanboys are literally desperate for any kind of win. That they are blindly uploading anything that says Starfield good. That's, that's it. Separate alone and disturbing. People don't want to play games, have fun anymore. They just want to point out the flaws and mistakes. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, Not literally. True. That's the, like, okay, I'm critical of this game. Dude, Baldur's Gate has bugs. No one talks about it because the game overall is amazing. There are pay-to-win games like Lost Ark that no one except people who don't play Lost Ark care about the fact that it's pay-to-win because the game is just so good, okay? There are games that are literally copies of, uh, of themselves for f 10 iterations now, aka the Darks, uh, any Dark, uh, any Soul series game. It's literally the copy of the same game with a, uh, with a couple of uh, new weapons and new bosses. But guess what? No one's complaining because it's a good game. If, if a game is good overall, we ignore everything bad about it. Okay? That, that has been true since the beginning of time. Fall, uh, Fallout New Vegas has honestly a ton of bad things about it, you know? It's like... There are tons of bad things that you can easily say about the game, but get, guess what? Overall, it's a 10 out of 10 because it's a good game overall, so no one actually gives a shit. But when a game is bad, and the game overall is not good, obviously you're gonna point out flaws. It's just the way things work. Game, and I'd say I'm far more critical of this game because of the fact that people aren't being critical enough because of the also fact that there's true. people out there who are just a a acting insane and irrational and they're saying the game's amazing at a 10 out of 10 when it's clearly not. It's cl and it's like, so I, I need to speak up, I feel like. Because otherwise, guess what's happening? They're fucking, their mirage, their marketing campaign, their shit where they basically make pseudo shills to like shill their fucking game to sell as many copies as possible. It's worth Working, right, it's working. I mean, dude, I just played Baldur's Gate. Oh, there's some strange music suddenly playing on Quint's side. I was like, 
Is my is my phone ringing? Is, is is something happening outside? It's like is is, is it World War Three finally? Is it the purge finally? We we really need one. But yeah, it's just his some kind of strange music. It's Ray, and I fucking just love that game. The way, okay, do you want to know what it was like when I was playing Baldur's Gate? That game, I would like wake up and I'd be like, uh, these people feel like the devs owe them something personally, and that that's uh, and that's sad because it's it limits their ability to play the game freely. <laughs> they, the game dev should have given you a a good game. No. 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 Dude, this is, by the way, there is a slight chance that this is not an actual troll post. But if this is not a troll post, and people are still unironically upvoting this thing, it's like, Jesus fucking Christ, I honestly wish this was a troll post that got upvoted. Because the, the possibility that this is not a troll post, and this is a serious post, it may... Makes me lose even more faith in humanity than a bunch of redditors being redditors and being stupid and upvoting clear bait. Boom! I'm like, oh shit, I'm awake! Boulder's Gate! And I, and I have like my plans, what I want to do, and my plans for my character, and I'd fucking run out of my bed, and I'd fucking get my fucking kettle on, turn that shit on, I'd put my, my food stop microwave in that shit, and I, I'll be on early, dude. <laughs> he also has a family. <laughs> Fuck him! Fuck them. To stream and blast. Okay, this game, Starfield, bro. Like, oh, I wake up. Oh. Starfield fuck, is hey. just, Starfield is gonna be like a new Chinese torture method. I think I'm gonna finish it today if I just fucking push through. If I just zerg the main story and just fucking don't, like, bro, <laughs> I can make it end. I, the suffering can end. All right, mad because you can't mainly fly from one planet to another. Seriously, I can't wait to fast travel to where I'm going. <laughs> see what's over there. What is this weird copium? Dude, dude, so, some again. This this cannot not be bait, because this is gonna be the part where he says fast traveling is the best thing ever. What is this? What? Because now he's defending a thing that I hate. This. This is that. This. This. What's happening right here, chat? Is the same exact uh, mechanic where people are so deluded, right? They create these arguments and they'll defend arguments, which make the game worse. The, like nobody should be like, yes, fast travel. There's always something to do. There are no fucking microtransactions. That's a that's a pro. Wait, don't... Oh come on, Quinn. Fucking, I I, I thought you're gonna read everything. Man, you can uh, because you can't manually fr fry from uh, fry fly from one planet to another. Seriously, I can't wait to fast travel. Uh, to where I'm going to see what's going on over there. Mad because you can't walk across the entire fucking planet. Come on, man. Uh, <laughs> this is so clearly bait. Do you do this shit in uh, Never NMS? Never? What is NMS? Mm. I, I don't know what is NMS. I fucking hate walking in video games. <laughs> Dude, this, again, this cannot be not a troll. I, I hate walking in video games. <laughs> the only complaint I have so far is that we should get a ATV rover or something. <laughs> okay, this is real, but it would be pointless. Because you, you, you need to understand, uh, they can't add a rover or anything like that to the game because... You need to understand, the way they try to hide that the planets are barren and they're literally just walking simulators with nothing to find or see, is by adding rocks and hills, you know, because the whole game is, by the way, here's a hill, here's a hill, here's a hill, it, it's constantly like that, and there's rocks. That's how they try to hide that there's nothing there. By, by, uh, by creating you the expectancy that, oh, I'm gonna get over this hill and I'm gonna find something. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, maybe I get over this next hill and find something. Oh, it's another hill. Oh, maybe if I get over this hill... It's another hill. <laughs> That's literally how they made this intentionally. Uh, where were we? The only complaint I have so far... That, oh, yeah. Uh, that would be cool. Uh, mad because NPCs look like a video game 20 years ago. Bro, who the fuck cares what they look like? You're not uh, staring at them for fucking all day. You are! You actually are! Just get what you need and keep it moving. 
Imagine if this is not a throw post. I can't. I officially I put can't. I pro I did, right? Wait, no. No micro. Yeah, that's actually a good one. That's actually a pro. He's, dude, he's got a point. 16 hours. That's the only thing, by the way, I was wrong about. The, the, the fact that the game doesn't have micro transactions. I, I mean, they're probably going to add them at some point. If the creator club doesn't actually pull through, but, you know. Zen and I've only done a few main missions, and I've been enjoying the side mission, constantly finding myself in awe, doing things like walking under my ship before taking off, or viewing it from a space station while docked. 10 out of 10 was tough again. One of the cities further into the game, and the little deal is just staggering. It's fantastic. So many vendors. Every door opens. Conversations everywhere. Awesome stuff. What the Conversations fuck are they on about? What? I, I, like, my church is not. It's like, like you look around, glazed over eyes, NPCs, like, comes up. You, you go to the NPC, and it's like, ha ha! I'm busy right now. One of the craziest things that was a review I watched but uh, didn't react to was about a guy who said, Oh, the Starfield, Starfield is so amazing because the NPCs feel real. Every every NPC you see in the city has a thing to do. They have a job. They have family. They, they're going places. They're doing stuff. No, they aren't. They, they're literally no different than the prostitutes you find on the side of the road in GTA Vice City. They're, they're literally that. But it's like, oh, look. Well, how, how do you how do you, how do you cope that hot? How can you say that, uh, dude? F try to follow any single NPC in Starfield in the city. Where are they? Uh, where are they gonna end up there? Nowhere. They they just walking around doing nothing, and people are like, these NPCs have souls. Unbelievable. We can talk later. I, I don't know. Like I, like, dude, I, it's some bullshit. Like it was not that at all. Boulder's Gate, yeah. If he's talking about, bro, if he's talking about Boulder's Gate, that's accurate. You're talking about Starfield, just not accurate. Do you think these are like, has anyone investigated these Reddit accounts to see if they're like fucking natural <laughs> humans? You just summed up my thoughts exactly. It's a fucking amazing game. Uh, people are nitpicking over nonsense shit, like a few learning screens. That's the scary. Content makes the game worth it. People gave themselves unrealistic expectations, and now they're trying to blame Bethesda for when they turned out to be wrong. This is, by the way, the first Bethesda game where you can't sneak. This is literally the first Bethesda game where sne is sneaking is behind level fucking 10. Wrong. Uh, bro, how would they cope? Why are they just gagging on Todd's cock so hard? Bro, how would... Are they not playing the same game I'm playing? Because some people never learn... That when Dodd Howard says 16 times more fidelity, 72 times more performance for the 50th time for the 50th game, that's probably not true because it wasn't true the last 50 times. Because people, some people never learn. This is why we sh uh, th this is why beating people is not actually. By the way, this is a pure example why. Beating people is not a bad thing because these people don't deserve anything else, honestly. Like, chances are that's the only way they can learn. Playing? Are they, did, is, it, is my game glitched and all my shit's just completely bugged? My fucking units are just <laughs> fucking falling through my ship. Everyone's, all the enemies just immediately fucking glitching out, like going out of combat for no reason, shooting me through fucking walls and shit. Like, am I, did I have a glitched version? Is there like a Reddit version of the game? I should be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if the console version actually, like, is less bugged because it seems like they optimized and designed the game for consoles, let's be honest. Uh, they didn't. They just, they, uh, they, I'm pretty sure they just, you know, kind of made it that consoles have less everything, so it actually runs. Like, if they optimized the game, it wouldn't be locked at 30 FPS, obviously. Uh, especially on a modern-gen console. Uh, as long as you play the game, it gets worse. You'll get there eventually. Yeah, there it is, dude. There it is. Downvoted right, as fuck. I feel bad. I think I'm done. Post on Twitter. Yo, I fucking will, dude. I fucking will. Alright, I'm sending it, boys. I'm sending it. I'm sending it. Oh, we saw this. All right, <laughs> it's an equation, dude. It's an equation. It's an equation. It's a mathematical equation. Okay, it's, it's a fact. <laughs> so I, I mean, it's actually kind of matter if you think about it. Because I'm shitting on Starfield, and then I'm shitting on D4. Oh, wait. Fuck, maybe I should have put BG3 equals good at the bottom as well. I, it's fine. No, I was so excited no. at that point, man. Oh, oh I'm so excited, bro. Oh, I'm getting chills right now, boy. I'm getting chills. Oh, we're so good. This pissy <laughs> This game was a fucking star screen, bro. Straight up. <laughs> That's so good.
good. Ah, oh, beautiful. The start screen was so good. This is like Strodinger's cat, bro. Okay. And Strodinger's cat. <laughs> Strodinger's cat. <laughs> Then I'm opening it. I'm expecting the cat to be alive, bro. But when I opened it, bro, there was a fucking. <laughs> Stroding your cat. Someone, 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 someone chatted, not the dog. <laughs> I can't. It's still good. <laughs> it's still fucking good. It was a fucking uh, literal corpse, okay? <laughs> actually, and it was bugged. It was bugged, and the cat was just fucking... It, it was actually the ragdoll. The corpse was just... The Quinn reacting to Quinn is probably the funniest shit ever. In a really bugged, fucking glitchy way. Pending! 184! Hey! Yo, wait, how do I confirm that? What do I confirm this? I think I got a refund! Your purchase oh, has refunded! Yes, dude! <sighs> That's what I'm fucking talking about! Yo, there, nice one, there we go! That is what I call success! Look at that New Zealand something money. That is what I call success! Alright, to be fair, it was falsely advertised. It's not- the game isn't even fucking finished. It is a buggy mess, and yeah, I, let me tell you. You can still refund Starfield. That was that 20. How many hours of that game did I play? Uh, I can't even see. I can't even see. I, play, I, I was like 20. Wait, what the fuck is this? Is this a new Steam account just for playing Starfield? Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Uh, don't starve. Don't starve to get it. And don't starve mod tool. Oh, the tools. Okay. Well, this is. That's, that's some wiki wacky Steam account right there, boys. Probably new. Anyway, that was amazing. That, dude, Reddit. It's a place to be, what can I say? Well, a place to laugh about and not probably be, but it's close enough. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sid said, so thanks for watching. Subscribe, haven't already, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.